Uh, let's see. So, well, I left commentary to go write God on the Quad. Okay. Um, and that started off as two, well, as one, one long article I did about Ave Maria Law School okay. and Patrick Henry College. Okay. Uh, and I turned it into an editor uh, at the American Enterprise Magazine, which is now defunct. Yeah. Um, but he said, you know, this would make a good book. So I started applying for fellowships, and that's kind of the other recurring theme here. Uh, I applied for something called the Phillips Foundation Fellowship, which I highly recommend to all of you uh, if you're interested in journalism, especially if you're interested in some kind of uh, big topic, long form journalism. Um, the Phillips Foundation offers one year part time or full time fellowship for journalists to pursue kind of a single topic um, at length. You have to turn in four installments over the course of the year, which could be lengthy magazine articles or could be make up you know, the beginnings of a book. Huh. Um, so I went to probably all told more than two dozen colleges for the book and uh, I, um, I applied for other money as well because the book required so much travel and so much time to write. I mean basically I was doing the research for the book well into the second year um, hmm. and then I really sort of got down to writing after that. Yeah. So you did the research in 01, 02? Yes. And yeah. the book was finally published in 05? Right, it was published in the beginning of 05. So, so it's a process. It is a real process, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it, it takes a long time from the beginning. I, well, I mean, there are people who write books much more quickly, but if you want to do what I think is the right kind of book for a young person to do, which is a book that really involves a lot of research and that establishes you as being an expert at something. I mean, you know, there yeah. are people who wrote, who, you know, start writing memoirs at 23. And I don't know, I, <laughs> it's, maybe my life just isn't that interesting. But, but I think that this is a much better kind of model for a first book if you're going to pursue that, which is pick a topic that really, you know, people haven't researched extensively enough and go do, if you can get the funding and go in the, and you have the energy, go do a lot of interviews and a lot of research yeah. and, um, and then write that because yeah. you, that makes you credible and, <coughs> and otherwise, you know, at that age, you're just not. Yeah. I mean, people, people said, well, how did you pick these schools? And all I could say is, you know, it's totally haphazard. I mean, you know, some schools I picked because people had heard of them. Some schools I picked because people hadn't heard of them. Some schools I picked because they were big or small or in one region of the country or another or because some person had said, you have to come here. Yeah. And uh, it was very hard. And, you know, the number of people I get, when are you going to write a sequel? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've gotten uh, uh, John Wilson, who's the editor of Books and Culture, uh, writes sometimes for the, the journal, and I've gotten to know him. And uh, he said, oh, you know, you've got to write a big follow-up article. Where are all these schools now? Yeah. And I, I think I find the prospect of kind of going back to all this a little bit overwhelming now. Yeah. Maybe it's just because well, it's a few years later. But also because I think the more, even after the book was published, I felt like I was learning so much more about more schools that I should have visited or could have visited that the topic, which, feels, which felt narrow to begin with, I mean, it felt like a, something I could actually accomplish you know, almost feels more unmanageable now. As I acknowledge in the book, not only was it, not only were these colleges foreign to me, but Christianity was very foreign to me. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's one of my consistent criticisms of the Jewish community that there is not enough knowledge of other religions and that there is a fear among a lot of American Jews, I think, to understand other religions um, because there's a sense, oh, you know, that's going to result in assimilation. And, mm -hmm. and I, I just couldn't even have told you before I went to Patrick Henry on that first visit, if you, had, if you had twisted my arm and said, okay, really, what's the difference between a Catholic and a Protestant? Well, there's the Pope, but, I mean, anything <laughs> else? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I didn't take a single religion class in college. 
And, and a lot of students don't, and I think they should. I mean, and there's no religious literacy required among, you know, in public schools anymore. I mean, for reasons people fear lawsuits and all sorts of things like that, but it's a real shame yeah. because you, you miss out understanding on so much of culture and art and politics and philosophy if you don't understand any of the basics of yeah. di different world religions. Yeah. There was a kind of popular understanding of what a Christian college would produce if you asked someone in New York, yeah. and they would tell you, you know, it will produce a kind of you know socially awkward person who will live in the Midwest and um, <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying um, you know that that and that's and that that's sort of the popular understanding, and that and that a seriously religious college, well, you know, they're going to be produce people who are even more socially awkward, and and you and know, extreme, and, and that the religion, the religious education is going to be offered at the expense of the secular education, mm -hmm. and so the person is not only going to be socially awkward, but probably incompetent as well <laughs> um, and I think I was so surprised uh, you know to find just such strong secular I mean such I mean such a passion for learning at these schools mm. that I hadn't encountered except among a few select people mm. um, at institutions that I've been at the past in the past but mm. but there is a there was a, a sort of striving for truth and learning that permeated the entire campus at most of the institutions I went to and it, hmm. it was it was shocking to me and I, I think it was shocking to a lot of um, you know people I talked to afterward who had read the book and who yeah. just hadn't had this kind of exposure yeah.